Hello and welcome back to Engineering Week. In this video, I'm excited to take you to the actual construction site and show you the step-by-step -step process of construction of a reinforced concrete column. From setting up the steel bars to installing the formwork and finally pouring the concrete, you will get a complete overview of the process. First, we start with the steel bars or rebars. We need to install them properly in a concrete column to encase them with concrete to have the necessary strength against different types of loads it's going to undergo throughout the structure's useful life. The vertical bars are usually used against compression and bending. While the bars in parallel with the concrete column's cross-section or the stirrups are used to support the structure against shear loads and also compression of the column. So these bars are installed properly and with attention. The next thing is installing the formwork for the concrete columns. These could be steel panels or maybe wooden boards. So in any way, once the formwork is installed, it's ensured that the formwork is completely vertical and as per the structural plans given to the site engineers. Once the formworks are installed, then the concrete pouring process starts. In this video, as you can see, this is a traditional way of filling columns with concrete, but usually a pump is used. In this case, a bucket is used in order to fill the concrete columns. So one thing you need to make sure when you're working as a construction engineer or as a project manager is safety of the people working at the site. So in here, as you can see, there are no bills, no hot hats, which could result in damages to the health and safety of the people working on this site. So in order to make sure that the concrete is evenly distributed in the height of the column, and if there are any air pockets, they are removed, we use the vibrators to vibrate the concrete and make sure all the gaps are filled within the concrete. So in this scene, as you can see, the person standing here is vibrating the concrete that was just poured into the column to make sure it's evenly distributed throughout the column's height and the column's cross section. So if you found the content of this video helpful, consider subscribing to this YouTube channel and following us on Instagram or LinkedIn for more useful project management and civil engineering tips. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.